I just want to stop by to tell people I need at least about 1 million subscribers. Yes, 1 million subscribers so I can go to the continent of the world with this message. The message of truth. The message, this message will give you freedom of mind, body, soul, and spirit. So I want to thank those that already subscribed to, to this channel, knowing that it is reaching the unreachable. It is helping the unhopeful, the hopeless, and it helping the homeless. So each time you subscribe to this video, God is touching lives so I can touch lives to give. Hey Amen. There's hope, my friend. There's hope every time you subscribe to the video and view this video and don't click the commercial because I can pay to help others with this gospel. So thank you. And thank you. Matthew, the 15th chapter, verse 14. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And the blind lead the blind. Both shall fall into the ditch. Ten reasons why it's important to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Number one, because leaders are leading many to lick a fire. Number two, because many people are living according to lies rather than according to the word of God. Amen. Number three, love is a sign. Every Christian should possess this gift called love. And John 13, 35 says, By this shall all men know that you are my student, that you are my disciple, if you have love, compassion, one Toward another. Number two, because we are not learning the word of God, but, but learning cultic way. Ten reasons why you need to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Number five, because we are lusting more than the content or satisfaction as described in 1 John 2.15. Love not the world, the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, love of Father is not in him. Number six, because we are leaning on man more than depending on God. Jeremiah 75 says, Thrust in the Lord, curse be the man that trusts in man, and make a flesh his arm, whose heart depart from the Lord. And seven reason, because we are lazy, because we are busy about we are not busy about our father's business. In Ecclesiastic 18, 10, 18 say, but much slowfulness, the building decayed, and through idleness of the hand, the house drop it through. I'm talking about lazy people. Number eight, because we are laboring for the meat that perish, then laboring for the meat that endure to everlasting life. John 5, 6, 27. High glory to God. Number nine reason, because Jesus Christ is life. In 1 John 5, 12, that he that have the son of life, son have life, and he that have not the son of life, have not life. So if you don't have Jesus, you don't have life. But if you have Jesus, you have life. Hey, glory to God. What does I say? The Bible say, my friend, 1 John 5, 12, he that have the son have life. And he that have not the son of man have not life. So you are a zombie walking around if you don't have Christ. And glory to God. How you get Christ? Acts 2, 238. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, remiss your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So if you have the Holy Ghost, you have life. If not, you are a dead zombie. And glory to God. Amen. Number 10th reason. Because Jesus is the light of the world. And, and know we are the light of the city. Hey, glory to God. In Matthew 5, 14, he said, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So that's why, my friend, listen to me. Can we talk? You need a personal relationship with Jesus. If you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, you be a person that don't depend on people. You be a person that depend on somebody that pray for you. You learn how to pray 
for yourself. David encouraged himself in the Lord. And if you had nobody encouraged, you got to pat yourself and say that the Lord will make a way somehow. So you need a personal relationship. Listen, listen, Bible say. The Bible say we're comfort about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that he will set us. Let us look unto Jesus, the author and a finisher of our faith. For the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despite the shame, and is sit at the right hand of God. So if you want to be validated, have a personal relationship with Jesus. Now, when Peter saw Jesus walking on water, he glory to God. Peter said, Jesus forbid me to come. Jesus right tell him to come. And just like some, most of y'all out there, Jesus Christ bidding you to come. And when you are coming, you look around and you get start sinking. You look around because your eyes got off the prize. The prize is Jesus. The Bible say you, you Paul say you run well. Who hinders you? The Bible say the race that gives the swiftly the strong, but the them that endure to the end. How can you endure to the end? You have to have a personal relationship with you. Your friend is good, but you need because in the midnight hour, the Bible say we may endure for night, but joy come in the morning. Why? Because joy come because you have a personal relationship. With Jesus. So when Peter walking on water and Peter looked down and Peter started sinking, you might be sinking right now. But if you ask God, God save me. And the Bible say how Jesus Christ reached out his hand and save him. I'm telling you, my friend, if you pick up the Bible, God will save you. If you are sinking, go to the book of Psalms. If you are sinking, Go to the book of Proverbs. If you're sinking, go to the book of John. If you're sinking, go to the book of Revelation. If you're sinking, go to the book of Pauline, Pauline writings. I'm telling you, my friend, God will save you. So if you are sinking, have a personal relationship with you. I know that group prayer is good. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes, all the time, you got to find enough God in you to say, Lord, save me. The Bible says, save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, send prosperity now. The Bible says, today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. The Bible says, boast up for tomorrow, because know now what tomorrow may bring. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So 10 reasons why. It's important to have a personal relationship. I'm saying personal mean that you have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. That means that he become the lover of your soul. He become the love of your life. He become the lover. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, a personal relationship. Stop those group chat and start have a conversation with Jesus Christ. Stop those group chat telling people all your business and tell your business to Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ won't tell nobody. He won't embarrass you. He won't insult you. He won't tell you or tell everybody your business. The reason is situation you and you're telling people your business. Stop telling people your business. Keep your business and tell it to God. God won't tell nobody. But you tell the people, they're going to tell your business all over the world. But if you tell the Jesus... He said, casting all your cares upon him. The Bible said, come unto me, all he that heaven laid and I will give rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Come my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Bible said, cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain thee. It's important to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ become your personal savior. It's a personal, personal relationship.